and in the second semester they can choose different majors and then the project work continues after that let us see these iits in terms of the rankings and the number of specializations which they are offering rock engineering so chennai and delhi both have all the six specializations but in delhi we have addition of what the rock engineering okay uh, when you're preparing for the examination my suggestion will be you should always target the top colleges hello friend my name is satyajit sahu and this is an informative video for all the aspirants for gate examination especially the students from the branch of civil engineering gate examination students give for admissions into mtech programs of the top institutes of this country and also for psus this particular video is an informative video where we'll be discussing the top institutes the top colleges from where you can do your mtech okay so let us start with the colleges which are ranked in the top 10 okay h per ni rf rankings of 2023 okay and the top college i can say the top university for admissions into mtech program is none other than the indian institute of science bangalore okay so iisc famously known as iisc yes so this is the top institute it is the we can say pinnacle of research in india yes and for mtech program into civil engineering let us see that which is the specialization yes relations in this particular institute okay now indian institute of science bangalore doesn't have okay a specialization as such the difference in the specialization let us see so here the degree offered is mtech in civil engineering okay the degree is mtech okay master in technology in civil engineering yes and they offer what majors they offer majors okay the mtech program is a two-year program where we have we can say in the first year there is coursework the first semester second semester and then the project work the first semester is common for all the mtech students mtech in civil engineering and in the second semester they can choose different majors and then the project work continues after that so what are the majors in iic bangalore let us see so the majors offered are structural engineering geotechnical engineering water resources and environmental engineering and transportation system engineering okay and last one is the dam engineering so a student who is aspiring to do an mtech from iic bangalore they can get this degree of mtech in civil engineering with major in one of these we can say topics okay one of these topics okay so student who are preparing for the gate examination their prime target should be IIC Bangalore only. So when you are preparing for the examination, you should always target the top institutes, right? So the top institute, okay, is what? IIC Bangalore. Then what are the other top institutes in top 10, which are the other institutes, okay? In the top 10, we have the old IITs, okay? The old IITs, okay? And what are the rankings? Let us see. So before that, before that, before going into the top iits where you can get admissions okay now what are the specializations offered by these iits okay now, as we discussed for iisc bangalore they don't provide as a specialization they give mtech in i can say civil engineering with different majors but for other iits what happens they provide in specialization in different things okay now what are the specialization in civil engineering so mostly what happens most of the iits they provide uh, specialization in six specializations okay and then some additional specializations also are there so what are the six common specializations in the top iits the one is a structural engineering then geotechnical engineering water resource engineering environmental engineering and transportation engineering and construction technology and management so these six specializations are common in all the top iits okay on the all the top iits you will get these six specialization and some additional specialization you will get in some iits i will be telling that okay now let us see these iits in terms of the rankings and the number of specializations which they are offering okay now after iic bangalore the institute or the we can say top college among the iits is iit madras okay 
IIT Madras, Indian Institute of Technology Madras, and they offer six specializations. As I told, all the six specializations they offer, like structural engineering, geotechnical, transportation engineering, environmental engineering, water resources, and construction technology management. So they offer all the six specializations, and this is the top IIT edge per the rankings for MTech admissions. Okay. Now what is the next one? The next one is IIT Delhi, and they offer seven specializations so these numbers are what these numbers are not the rankings they're the number of specializations they offer okay so first one i discussed about what the chennai offering all the six one okay and uh, delhi also provide all the six one and addition to that they provide one more specialization that is what rock engineering so chennai and delhi both have all the six specializations but in delhi we have addition of what the rock engineering okay so after iit delhi we have iit bombay iit bombay provides eight specialization iit bombay provides what eight specialization and in eight specialization okay the six are included and what is the additional one the additional one are remote sensing and your ocean engineering okay so this is what iit bombay so we are discussing the num the colleges rankings and all so first i told that iic bangalore then we have your uh, madras then we have delhi and we have bombay the next one is iit kharagpur and iit kharagpur provides five specialization okay they don't provide the construction technology management they provide geotech transportation okay structural water resource engineering and environmental engineering so five specialization they provide okay now after iit kharagpur we have uh, iit kanpur who provide will provide what seven specialization along with the six common specialization they provide geoinformatics okay so geoinformatics they provide okay then we have your iit roorkee in iit roorkee all the six specializations are offered okay plus iit roorkee is very well known for earthquake engineering they have a different department for earthquake engineering whom they take the civil engineering students only yes and in civil engineering students they have two for earth en uh, earthquake engineering that is what your soil dynamics and structure dynamics okay so along with the six specialization of civil engineering they provide two more specialization that is soil dynamics and structure dynamics but these two are part of what earthquake engineering department okay now the last one in the iit rankings is iit guwahati we provide seven specialization all the six specialization they provide okay along with that they provide an additional one of earth science management so as we discussed let me just uh, go back okay so as we discussed that iic bangalore is the top institute and they provide the mtech in civil engineering with major in this six we can say topics okay and as i told the six specializations are common in all the iits which are structural engineering geotech engineering water resources environmental transportation construction management along with that we have some additional ones okay in delhi bombay kanpur roorkee and guwahati which i just discussed so these are the rankings okay these are the rankings also they are arranged in what the ranks so in iits the top one is madras okay and then we have delhi then we have bombay then we have kharagpur yes then we have kanpur roorkee and then guwahati now we should try for the top one yes but i can guarantee you that whichever college you are selecting almost all have very good professors okay they are very good institutes all the top iits are very good institutes okay so wherever you get you should try to do your best in those colleges so you should not obviously you should target the top institute okay as per the rankings but that should be target but after you achieve something that any college you are taking admission out of this you will get the best professors and the best guidance for your research work and your enhancement of knowledge okay now apart from that as per the top rankings top 30 colleges okay some other institutes also i have the enlisted here let us see all those institutes okay so apart from the iisc and uh, this uh, we can say eight uh, six seven iits okay the seven iits and i told about uh, the iisc bangalore what are the other good institutes okay so other good institutes are jadavpur university kolkata in west bengal then we have anna university chennai yes then indian institute of technology iit hyderabad okay then iit dhanbad which is also known as ism dhanbad yes earlier then we have bits pilani villa institute of technology and science very famous institute then we have nit tiruchirappalli national institute of technology okay we have iits we have nits in nits the top nit is nit trichy also known as nit this is actually it is nit tiruchirappalli also known as uh, nit trichy yes then what are the other colleges 
then we have iit indore then we have vellore institute of technology in vellore tamil nadu then nit rolkala and uh, then iit gandhinagar nit suratkal iit varanasi okay earlier known as iit bhu yes and then we have nit warangal so these are i can say some other good colleges where you can take admissions okay now apart from that if you want to see that what are the other good colleges apart from that okay so you can visit this website this website is your nirf the national institutional ranking framework okay and this list is issued by minister of education so they have enlisted all the universities colleges research institutes on engineering management everything yes so you can see the other good colleges already i have enlisted the top one is iisc bangalore and then we have uh, the seven iits and then some other good colleges also i have mentioned okay now coming to that what should be the rank to get into these colleges okay so uh, when you're preparing for the examination my suggestion will be you should always target the top colleges right you should always target what in the preparation stage you should not be targeting you know that rank 30 or rank 40 college okay first you should target what the top 10 right you should targeting iisc bangalore targeting iit chennai okay i just might address sorry and then iit bombay then iit delhi iit khadakpur kanpur yes you should target the top iits and iisc first now all these colleges roughly have okay say iisc has uh, iisc has roughly 32 seats okay and then uh, all the top iits will be having a range of 80 to 100 seats okay 80 to 100 seats varying from college to college or 70 to 100 seats okay so if you take a average of 80 per iit so that amounts to how much you can say that this top uh, seven iits have 80 into 7 that is i can say 560 and then iic bangalore has 30 so around 600 i can say 600 seats are there in this top 10 institutes right or top 8 institutes okay so you should be targeting a top 500 rank okay targeting five, five top 500 rank and to be in a better position to choose you should be targeting what top 200 rank yes so when you're preparing for the examination don't prepare for you know i will be getting 2000 rank or 5000 rank okay don't target that okay target what top 500 and to be more in a, in a position where you can choose your specialization or your college you should go for what top 200 rank if you go for top 200 rank then you can get into top five institutes and that will be very good for you yes and and my suggestion will be to go for what iic bangalore iit chennai yes or madras yes uh, then uh, uh, delhi then bombay kanpur khadakpur okay rurki and then there are some other colleges also which are providing very good specialization then you can target those things also thank you very much see you in some other video